Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl, Dara, back at it. An Android video, another unboxing. A couple disclaimers before we actually get into the, the proper intro. I'm sorry about the blank boring wall. Like I mentioned in previous videos, we're in the process of moving, so I had to take everything down, pack it up. It's really sad, I hate looking at it, it's just very sterile in here unfortunately um, but when we do move into the next place I'm gonna do everything bigger do everything better the backgrounds gonna be sick as hell so just stay tuned for that uh, that being said I'm basically doing this unboxing just to put everybody directly back into their boxes <laughs> which is sad but um, I'm hoping, I think I mentioned this in a previous video as well, but everybody that I've already unboxed on camera, I'm planning to do like maybe a part two, um, where I do their most dramatic, flourished, um, over the top poses that they can do, um, in terms of all my Nendroids and putting them up to be appreciated properly. Um, I'm hoping to get some like shelving to put on walls where I can display all my Nendroids, etc, etc. That's gonna be a whole thing, so like, it'll, I'm sure it'll all be documented, but like, don't hold your breath, it's gonna be a while before I get everything the way I like it, and then we can start unboxing people and like, really doing in-depth kind of, you know, their biggest, most dramatic poses and face plates and yada yada. Um, anyway, that being said, today's unboxing is similar to the one that I did last time, which if you didn't see that, I'll link it, I think it's here, maybe, I don't know, uh, in the cards. Uh, it was unboxing all of my Hunter Hunter Nendroids, which is a lot of fun. Today, we're going to be doing something similar. I'm going to be unboxing all of my Demon Slayer Nendroids. Um, I felt... I felt I had to do this because I have four of them right now. I did pre-order Gyu, but unfortunately I keep getting emails being like, oh, he was supposed to come out in March, but it's probably not going to be until May. It's like the very end of May right now, so I'm assuming I'm probably not going to get him and he's going to get like pushed back again. It's fine. I unfortunately missed the pre-order period for Ren Goku, so I'm probably just going to look out for him when he gets like proper re Pro properly released um, and then I'll pick them up at that point so maybe we'll have a part two maybe there will be more uh, Demon Slayer characters out at that point as well so for now it's just the main group of homies we have uh, Tanjiro, Nezuko, Inosuke, and Zenitsu I'm really excited to unbox them um, and I saw the Demon Slayer movie last weekend. It was so good. I knew what was gonna happen and I still cried my eyes out. It was A plus cinema. Um, so that's basically everything. I've been rambling for long enough. Uh, just a quick Demon Slayer Nendroid unboxing. As always, let me know what you'd like to see more from me. Um, let me know if you've picked up anyone recently, Demon Slayer or otherwise, Nendroid or otherwise, I'd love to know. Let me know your recommendations, show me your collections, tell me what you've been watching, all of that. Any questions, concerns, comments down below. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already and let's get into it. Hello, okay, welcome to the desk. Sorry about my ugly band-aid. I got bit very extremely hard by a cat at work, so we're just gonna ignore that. Um, here's everybody. We're just gonna get started. I'm gonna start with Nezuko first, and then we'll go into the boys, but it's always fun to have a girl Nendroid because unfortunately, there's not a lot of them. <laughs> They're a rare breed, at least in like all the shows that I watch. It tends to be male dominated uh, casts, if you will. Um, so it's fun to have a girl in the party. So I'm pretty sure actually thinking about it now, the only other girl I've unboxed has been uh, Uraraka from My Hero. So <laughs> welcome number two. Um, so we'll just get started. I am going to try and do this unboxing a little quicker just because I want to get it up and edited before we move. And I am really bad at putting off all my editing because like the filming part of these is really fun, but editing can be kind of a pain in the butt. So anyway, we're going to start with Nezuko. Slide her out. Very cute. Love that it comes with her box. 
Uh, you'll see it has a back portion here where it has actually a quite large stand and then um, some extra arms and legs there. There she is. I can't, I'm definitely going to put on her little demon face because I think it's super cute. Um, so let me just take all the plastic bits off of her and then we'll get started with that. Okay, so this is what she looks like when you first get her out of her packaging, minus the plastic. She does come with her little bamboo scroll which can just be detached like so. Um, and then I'm going to take her hair off again just to chase, change out the face plate. And that is what she looks like there. Oh my god, I think she's so cute. I love her. Ah, oh, beautiful. So it looks like she also comes with some additional pieces of like her kimono. Um, so I'm sure that just comes into play when she's sitting or in different poses. But for right now, I'm not really going to utilize these. This also comes with her box and it actually opens up as you can see. Uh, additionally, it does come with like these little hook straps so that you can have Tanjiro wear it if you do have his Nendroid as well. Okay, so that is what she's looking like. I am going to quickly put her on her stand for display purposes at the end of this video. Um, but like I said, she's probably going to go back into her box, unfortunately, after this filming. Um, but we will have a proper look at her anyway. Okay, next up is Tanjiro. So here is him, but as you can see, this actually slid out. You also have a large base to display him on, and it comes with, you know, the kind of water wheel for his water breathing. Here he is straight out of the package. Let me take the plastic off and then I will do some face swapping. So these are all the face plates that he comes with. This is the one that he comes uh, already equipped with. This is kind of like a neutral face. He's got his happy smiley face and then kind of like an angry, probably in combat face. I'm gonna go with the little cute happy one for now. This is what he's looking like now, but as you can see, he does come with a variety of arms and a couple of different, like his sword, if it's drawn and then his sword if you just want like I guess the hilt of it um, so I am gonna equip some new arms so that he can actually hold his sword okay and that is what he's looking like now anyway so this is what Tanjiro is looking like I'm gonna put him on a stand as well and then I will move on to someone else all right everybody's fave cry baby Zenitsu so, so far, he actually comes with the most amount of face plates. Um, Nezuko only came with one additional, Tanjiro came with two, but he actually has, if I can pull this off, okay, so you'll see he actually comes with three additional face plates, which I think is cool because it definitely suits his character. He's definitely the most expressive out of everybody. Um, so these are what the face plates look like. He has one where he's, you know, I think this one's to show his in combat, a s basically black the hell out, but still f giving it his all kind of thing. This is <laughs> when he's chasing Nezuko. This is when he's extremely frightened. And then he just comes with basically a neutral expression, which is still cute, but the other ones I think definitely point more to kind of his overall character. Um, he also comes with some dynamic, I guess, background elements, some like lightning. He comes with two swords, one hilted, uh, or one in the sheath, one unsheathed. Um, and his little bird, oh my god, I don't know what the bird's name is because it's been a while, but he comes with his little bird, which I think is cute. Okay, and this is what he looks like when all the plastic is gone. Still very cute, but I think this is probably the most basic of all his expressions. It's definitely not a face he wears often. These are definitely more frequently seen on him and I think I'm gonna do this one just because I have Nezuko in box and I think it'd be cute to have them right next to each other. Okay, I just wanted to explain this while I did it. Um, so I did change out his faceplate. You can see his hair is kind of off because his bird, 
who again I don't remember the name just comes with like a little piece of like plastic oh god I don't even know if you can see it. it's very clear and it's very thin um, and apparently you're supposed to just kind of sit them there and then clamp the hair together so that they can sit on the head oh my god I think it's so cute oh I love him I love him 10 out of 10 I'm gonna put him on a stand and then we'll move on to the best for last my king Inosuke Okay, and last but certainly not least, my boar prince, Inosuke. Let's get to it. Okay, here he is. Sorry about the glare. The sun is definitely setting right now. Um, here he is. We'll just pull him out. Ah, and I love what they did with him. This is what he looks like directly out of the box. I'm going to take off his plastic parts, but in case you haven't seen, I love what they did with him. First of all, you can have, you know, his little boar mask on if you want, but not only does he come with his regular human head, that also comes with his uh, an additional faceplate of him being a sloppy eater. And I think it's so cute. I love that they didn't just keep it like one or the other. I'm glad that they have both kind of versions of him included. This is what he's looking like now. As you can see, I took off the boar head, put on his regular face, and switched out the faceplates. I think this is so cute. I love all of them. I wish, my only issue is I wish that Nezuko came with more face plates because they only really gave her two expressions. Um, but as for everybody else, I think they did a great job on these. I'm going to put them on a stand and then show you the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been really fun. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for this video. This has been unboxing all of my Demon Slayer Nendroids. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me unbox them. I definitely had a lot of fun putting them together, seeing the face plates and accessories and things that they come with. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you had fun. Um, once again, you know, let me know if you have any questions, concerns, if you have specific requests for specific Nendroids. Let me know if you guys saw the Demon Slayer movie and what you guys thought of it. Yeah, I think that's everything from me. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.